Oh my gosh, no. The one that's fun to interest is so some. Well, that's tricky. Hey, my little peaches. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to some more of our Nuts and Berry Challenge. I've left things exactly where they were. Like, literally, we've just finished movie night on Sunday night. So I need to go ahead and send everybody up to bed. <gasps> Wait a minute. I think bunk beds are in game now. Did I update my game? Did I actually update my game? No, I did not. Good job, Claire. Good job. You guys were kind of excited about the prospect of maybe making the girls share a bunk bed. But also, I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe Celia's a bit old for a bunk bed. So it's not the end of the world. It's fine. And in the last episode as well, we had like a lot of sweet moments with Satch Sam, who is also having a little sleep in his bed now. But you guys in the comments noticed, and I kind of feel like I definitely agree, that although we get on with Sad Sam, I don't know if there's strong chemistry. I don't know if there's like incredible chemistry. We do perceive him as attractive, but I don't know. I'm kind of leaning towards the idea of maybe inviting over a bunch of neats all in one go and just seeing if one of them really catches Ash's eye. We could always keep keep Sad Sam like as a good friend like he's still our roommate for now at least and I feel like we've alleviated some of his sadness but like I'm looking for a partner not a project so I think we'll go ahead and invite all of the neats around see if any of them catch Ash's eye Sad Sam may become a sperm donor friendo in the future if one of the sims that catches Ash's eye is one of our girly neat sims and yeah we may still keep around in the picture we shall see we shall see how things go but we're gonna go ahead and do that in today's episode so if you guys are excited, please go ahead and give this video a cheeky thumbs up. I hope you guys are still enjoying the series as much as I am. If you are still loving the series, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to go ahead and take a look at Neat Club right now. I'm actually going to go ahead and kick off Manuia because he is married. And who else we got in here that's kind of catching my eye? Kyra's got a lot of headwear going on, but she's kind of cute. Are you married? Please don't say you are. We'll add you. I would also say Dylan catches my eye as well just because he's got got a lot going on so I'm kind of intrigued this is my father in his human disguise these people are all old so I'm gonna say no to them I'm at Achina. I can't tell the age of these sims like I would prefer it to be similar ish to my age there's also Erica and Wayne Erica I can't her CC so bad that I can't really tell right now oh I've used up all of my spots okay we've definitely used up all the spots if I do more neat interactions I can maybe unlock another spot but I need 250 points right now clip has when 140 and I don't think I can cheat that. Oh, turns out I can totally cheat that. I will give myself 10,000 points. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and buy this. I'm also gonna add Wayne. I think Wayne looks sweet as well. And then finally, since I've got one more spot, Antonio maybe? Yeah, I'm kind of feeling Antonio as well. There we go. So we've got a bunch of neat sims and we will be doing a interview or at least casting our eye over all of them as Ash when we get chance to form another neat club gathering. What's the situation? Tomorrow's Monday. Monday means bills to pay. Bills to pay means money of which I don't have a great deal. I was also thinking thinking like when Ash, um, I'm gonna do a bit of singing practice this morning actually. When Ash was like young at the bottom of her career, she was like fully fledged, like gym just for working out, state the art materials, stereo. Now she is literally a rookie. So she's not on the team yet, but she's almost a starter. We literally have no gym equipment and all I allow her to do is run. Maybe, maybe her work has really good equipment when you get there, you know? And we've reached singing level six. How are we doing with everything? Work, level six. Singing, level six. Parent Parenting, level A, and I think fitness is already level 10. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. We're crack a on. I bought these shelves for you to display your eggs. So these were from flower day in the last episode or egg day or whatever it's called. Oh, and today's rebate day. So if we do buy any stuff, we earn a little bit back. I don't know if I'll be able to do this because we also have bill day today. I'm sure Monday's bill day. Maybe I'm just imagining that, but I feel like it is. Oh, and it's also a mess in here. As part of my um my parenting, I am gonna ask if the kids can help me clean up a little bit. Maybe some washing of dishes, maybe some taking out of trash. And when Brenton wakes up, he can mop the puddles. And then Celia's still feeling really down because her biological mum died. So I'm gonna just like try and cheer her up, try and make her feel a little bit better. And then as you kind of sometimes need to do with Sims, if they're feeling a little bit down, I'm gonna just be like, why don't you get a shower before you go to school? Just just a little shower, Celia. What do you say? You're a bit stinky. Also, Brenton, I see you getting up super, super late so that you don't have to mop the puddles. I saw that. Don't think I didn't notice that. Oh my gosh. A thousand pounds in bills? 
How on earth am I gonna be able to afford that? I don't actually have work for two days. I think I'm gonna try and pick up some odd jobs today. Okay. It's hard work being a single parent of three kids and Sag Sam, which is like a fourth kid, you know? Any with skills I actually have? No, literally none. Okay, I'm gonna go do some lawn mowing today. Catherine, you need to stop this. You need to stop this. And oh, okay, $72. $72 is just not really gonna cut it. I need some more money, please. Do the kids have work this evening? This feels so bad, but do they? I can't need them to. And I feel bad, but for this odd job, I need my mischief to be a bit better. So I'm practicing mischief on- Okay, he's in a bad mood. He's in a really bad mood, and I'm like, lol, mischief. Boom, mischief level two. I've at least achieved it. Hopefully I don't annoy him too much. And uh, what have you just brought back into- <gasps> You brought back a bird. No, Pluto, please, please don't catch birds. I know they don't have work today. Kinda needed ya. You. Oh, you're having a mood swing. Okay, that's great. And you're all like, oh geez, the kids are kind of low-key a wreck right now. Apart from you, you're doing really good. Extra time for your assignment and you've also got a school project. In fact, I feel like you all have school projects. Yeah, you all got school projects. So why don't you all have a little sibling individual project working evening together. There you go. Very cute. Very sweet. Look at this. Pluto's overseeing as well. This is just very, very cute. However, the siblings are all definitely going through a bit of a arguing with each other time. I mean, it's not nice, but it's also pretty normal for siblings to argue. So it is what it is, you know? I used to fight with my brother all the time. It's part of being a sibling. Also, it's a lot of it comes down to the fact that Brenton is going through a very moody time at the moment. He is literally enraged and he's teasing his siblings and he's acquired the mischief skill. Really, Brenton? Tease mercilessly. No, stop this. Okay, why don't you stop project time and do angry poop time instead. And I'm gonna see if a cold shower helps like cool down his enraged emotions. Oh, look at this. I think I'm just a little bit down, Lila. Thank you for checking on me. That's so freaking cute. Oh, bless. Checking in on her big sister. That's adorable. Also, she wants to play the violin to help with feeling down, which I think is a really nice idea. So why don't you... <gasps> is this a child's only? Yeah, okay. I'd need to get you a better violin, but I can't really afford it right now. I'm so sorry. Unless I sell... How much do I get for this one? I feel like the adult ones are way more expensive. Oh, okay. It's not that bad. Oh, I know I should be focusing on the bills. But look, she's feeling down. She wants to play the violin. I'm gonna let her play the violin, okay? Oh, okay. So... What you're saying is you're gonna transfer your misery into the strings of your violin and inflict it on us all. Thanks so much, Celia. Love that for us. And oh my gosh, look at this one flopping his way around the house. Really? Oh, but cleaning. You know what? I can't fault them. I can't fault them. Oh, and I actually have loads of flowers to harvest and sell. Okay, this is gonna get me a bunch of money. This is great. <gasps> is that enough to pay the bills? Nearly. Nearly enough to pay the bills, but not quite. Lindsay, no, you're not coming around. You are out of our lives now. Thank you. Oh, and Lindsay just showed up anyway. Okay, you guys were saying I should just cut ties with Lindsay. And I agree because she's she's been too hurtful. I don't want this person as my friend anymore. But I actually don't know how to cut a person out of my life, Vincent. I don't know if you can. I'm just going to tell her to go away in the mean interactions. Just make her clear that she's not welcome here anymore. She hurt us and we can't forgive her for Oh, and I can sell an old project. I'm like $30 off now. I'm really close. I'm really close. Sell your kids homework. Any other kids got anything in their inventory that I can sell? Some book? Oh, a dollar. Your egg, I guess I can sell. And this? <gasps> and I can do it. I can pay the bills. Literally every week, this is such a huge source of stress. Every week, it's like, can I actually afford to pay the bills? But thankfully, thankfully, we've managed it. And she's reached violin level two. Good job. Okay, let's do a little bit of homework before bed, please. Uh, Lindsay, why are you in the house? I told you to go away. I'll try this again. I've said go away again. Is she actually going to leave this time? Or does she just like leave the room? I need you to just go. Just literally just go. Ask what Lindsay's problem is. Why have you like honestly chased every guy I've ever gone for. Like, what's your problem, Lindsay? Just let me stew in bitterness and please. Some things are hard to forget or forgive, okay? What could you possibly have to forgive me for? Like, what did I do wrong? I'm trying to, like, think back. Did Lindsay's mom give Ashley more attention than she gave Lindsay? I don't know. I don't know what the deal is, but whatever. 
rude. And just for those that, uh, oh, guess who got promoted? Trace is such a nice guy. I need to start inviting him around and having a good friendship with Trace, to be honest. He wanted to celebrate his promotion, but I'm actually trying to help Zila get a lot of homework done before tomorrow. I'm gonna recommend a skincare routine for her as well. And I just try and get as much parent in with them as I can, because I still need to get that to level 10. Let's also encourage her recent behavior of doing homework. Good job, love that. And then I'm gonna influence her to go to sleep as well. Cause like, I don't have to send them to sleep, but it just increases parenting, so it's worth it. And just try and make her feel better. She's been down for so many days, but she's actually starting to feel a bit better. Look, it's nice having someone check up on me. And why are you out of bed? Why are you eating cereal at 2 a.m.? Wait for cereal, wait for breakfast tomorrow. And then finally at half two, I can go to bed. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start the gathering just so that they all come round because I don't start work until 2 p.m. So that gives me like a bunch of time to meet all of the neat sims in town. I don't know why we would have started this club, but just go with it, okay? I don't know if as soon as Celia goes to school, it's gonna like cancel. So I have to try and like introduce Sam to them all as quickly as possible. Uh, Ash to them all as quickly as possible. Okay, so I'm just gonna try and meet everyone. And we're starting to find out people's other traits. So that's good. So Wayne is a green fiend, neat and erratic. Erica is neat, a perfectionist and child of the ocean. Kyra is neat, a muser and a glutton. Antonio is a kleptomaniac, neat, music lover. And oh wow, everyone's really blue. Why is everyone in this club so sad? I absolutely do not know. Oh, and I thought Sheena was wearing a scarf, but it's actually a hood over her coat. Sheena is the only one who I didn't get their traits when I met them, which is kind of annoying. So let's go ahead and try and get to know her. Okay, Sheena's of oh, neat. Oh, I knew that one. That was the one I already had in the bag game. Also a dog lover. Okay, I like that. Trace, you're so sweet, but I'm doing stuff. Also, you're not neat, Trace. You're just not neat enough. Oh, and honestly, inviting over like a bunch of Sims who are neat is great for your house. I'm just putting that one out there. Okay, let me see what she's thinking of everyone. She finds Wayne attractive. She finds... Sheena is just on acquaintances, but I don't think it actually tells me. Okay, she finds Antonio basic looking. It doesn't tell me whether Ash finds female sims attractive or not, which is very annoying. Even for Pamela, it isn't saying it. I feel like gender preference has changed. <gasps> Why is female set to zero now? It was set to like 100 before. I think I'm gonna change it back because I want her to be able to tell me what which of them she finds attractive. And I can't find some of them. I don't know where some of them have gone. Like, where's the girl with the hair gone? I can't find them. Because I wanted to do like a little scout of the room and see if anyone caught her eye. But I'm actually not even getting the option to do that, which probably means nobody's catching her eye right now. Which is annoying. The needs are kind of a let me down a bit at the moment. I think as well, the fact that Celia's here means I can't like herd the needs very well. So this might have to be something that I do when Celia's back home from school and we'll try again but at least we've like invited them all over ash does have to get ready for work now unfortunately though the nice thing is though i can leave for work and it will be like getting a professional cleaner service i'll come back home and everything will look amazing i cannot do donate a thousand pounds to charity i could barely even pay the bills this week y'all calling the wrong person so she's working hard hopefully we get a promotion today so i can be on the starting team and so that i can obviously earn a little bit more cash brenton's getting mean messages from kids in school are you always as stupid or are you just making a special effort today yeah, I guess I just really am. Who are you, Clyde? Why are you being bullied by a young adult? Like, what? I don't even know, but it's another school project day, and I think he's a bit jealous because Leela's helping Celia with hers. But Celia's nice to her. You can sometimes be a bit mean to your sisters, so obviously they're gonna help each other out instead. We're still trying to work on skills, aren't we, for this one? I need to boost her mental as much as I can because I feel like she's gonna need that. I've forgotten everything for her, to be honest. Oh, the kids have school today. Oh, it's master dancing and two of the skills of my choosing. So I guess I actually need her to boost her motor skill so I can get her to do a dance video. <gasps> Maybe she's the kind of kid that like loves learning dances, like learns all the dances from like her favorite like bands and stuff. Maybe she can learn some K-pop dances and just in general be the kind of kid that's really good at dancing. There's not like an after school ballet class or anything is there? Or drama club or scouts? No, I'm gonna just like have her enjoy like dance. Dance and I'll try and buy her like a little TV upstairs and can put it here and she can like learn dances in front of it. But I don't think I can afford one for her yet. There's like that cute little penguin one, $275. <gasps> Although I can get you a really vintage one. You even learn dancing on this? Apparently you can. Okay, I know it's super basic, but at least you can learn some dances now. Oh, apparently you can't. Okay, maybe that TV is too small. We will make it happen though, I promise. Oh, <gasps> 
And oh my gosh, yes. I've been promoted to a starter. <gasps> and I got like a team photo. Oh my gosh, I'm in the llama corns. And we also got a bonus, which is amazing. And we get paid more per hour. Okay, the best part of all of this is I can buy like a little dance area for Leela. Also, I have my cute team photo. Can I put that like in my room somewhere? <gasps> Yay! <gasps> and yes, she can finally do some dances. Oh my gosh, your feet sure are moving around. Oh my gosh, what is happening right now? Maybe kids aren't meant to be able to dance. Maybe this is a mod I've got going on because there is a lot of uh, floating going on, but she's actually an awesome little dancer and she's able to learn to dance. That's awesome because I need to max that skill. So she's already getting a practice in. <gasps> and Celia got promoted. <gasps> and Brenton didn't. Oh, you're now Brenton's boss. And she's feeling proud of herself. What a baby. I feel like Brenton's gonna hate that. I honestly feel like Brenton's gonna hate that. Yeah, he's stressed out. She got promoted. He didn't. And I'm gonna go ahead and celebrate her promotion. And be like, well done, you got promoted. Now please invite around the needs. Because I need to scan the room, okay? Plus, I'm in my football gear. It's very, uh, very attractive. Showing how successful I am. <gasps> Look at that. Little poppers for your promotion. Well done. Okay, now that they're all here. Yeah, again, it's a bit wild trying to keep them all in one room. But can I do a scope? You don't always get the option to do it, which is super annoying. <gasps> scope the surroundings. Okay. Anyone catching your eye, Ash? Anyone about to glow a little bit? Anyone at all? Just somebody glow. Why are you walking all the way around here to do it? I do not know. It's kind of annoying because now you, it's taking you so long to get there that people have literally left the room. People literally left the room in the time it took you to do that. Okay. After she noticed that one sparked her interest. Oh my gosh, no. The one that sparked her interest is Sad Sam. Sad Sam is the only one that sparked her interest, guys. Wow. Well, that's tricky. I'm gonna see if this is like an issue with not having the Sims be CC'd up. Maybe like me, my Sims are only attracted to Sims with a bunch of CC on them. So let me just like throw some CC down. Okay, so that's the girl with the big hair. Just throw it on some CC just to like see if it makes them more attractive. And then here's the girl that dresses like Kenny from South Park. Okay, I really don't want to spend a bunch of time on any of these but that was the girl who's other trait we didn't know it turns out it's child of the island it's kenny from south park girl and let's try again let's just see if she's actually low-key into cc because i can feel that nobody interesting <laughs> guys i'm trying so hard here i'm literally trying so hard i actually find sheena absolutely adorable with that hair i'm seeing a bit of um cora like a little bit it's like cora's hair from the legend of cora and oh you're going through a mean streak brenton as if you weren't already like look how adorable oh she is such but look how adorable she is the only person Ash finds attractive in this whole room still is Saj Sam. I just, I don't get it. <gasps> oh, no, now she also finds Wayne attractive too. Wayne, who is erratic. Okay, let's do a bit of uh, CC on Wayne. This has just become a CC up townies to see who's most attractive episode. Okay, this is the other sim that she found attractive. So let me know what you think of him as well. He's called Wayne. So yeah, who do you guys think? This is like a dating sim at this point. Oh, he's kind of sad now, but Wayne, who she's actually attracted to. This cute girl here, who she's not attracted to, but I kind of would like her to be. Oh, we're arguing with her. Okay, great. Sheena. Kyra, who she's also not attracted to, but I've given CC, so... Oh, the OG himself, who is currently sat on a lamp, interestingly enough. Saj Sam. <laughs> it really did not go the way I expected it to go. Oh, it's telling me now. She sees Sheena as basic looking. She sees Kyra as not even worth finding attractive, I guess. Uh, Wayne is also basic looking, but she is attracted to him. And Sam Mort is extremely attractive. There it is, guys. Ugh. I really wanted to branch out and see if there was any other people in the dating pool that she really got her heart racing. But genuinely, I feel like it's Saj Sam. I feel like she's into Sad Sam the most of all. Is there anybody else you really would like me to push down like the route instead? Please let me know in the comments below. But this has proven very, very tricky. Definitely not many Sims really do it for Ash. Not that many Sims get a heart racing. I feel like she has a type, and I feel like that type is guys with dark hair. However, Leela now has three days until aging up. Oh my gosh, it's 3am in the morning. What are you kids doing? Leela will be aging up in the next episode, which is great. We've got her like her own little dancey area. So she started to work on her dancing skill, which she's gonna need for her part of the Not So Berry Challenge. We've been promoted at work. The money situation is actually pretty good now. We're slowly starting to get into a little bit of a more financially 
less stressful place. But I need your guys' help very desperately in Ash's love life. What do I do? Do I go for the sim that she's most attracted to of all, which is Sam? Do I go for another sim that's caught her eye, Wayne? Or do I try with maybe Sheena and Kyra, who she's not into, but maybe it's not a attraction at first sight, but more of a slow burn. First fall in love with personality and then fall in love with their looks later on. Let me know what you guys would like in the comments below. If you see somebody else that's commented on a sim that you would prefer, go ahead and like their comments so that those comments rise to the top and I see which sim you guys like the most of all. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Sorry, it's been a little bit messy, but um, Ash's heart is a little bit messy as well. And I will see you guys in another episode. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!